everyone, Tasha here for Cat Scrappiness, and today we're going to create a fun Quokka themed Valentine's Day card using items from the new release. I'm going to be using one of the hearts included in the double stitched heart die set, and this stitch design gives a really pretty frame to the heart. I'll also be using the stitched scalloped heart die and I'm using this one, which is a perfect size to go on top of my card. And I'll be using the Stitched Hearts cover plate die, along with the Love You Sentiment with Shadow die. And this one is great because it's just the two pieces fit together perfectly and it gives a whole bunch of detail. I'll embellish with some of my favorite pearls and this pearl mix is called Sparkling Snow. The stamp set I'll be using is Everyday Quokka stamp. And I'm also going to be using the coordinating dies, which is great because they cut out everything perfectly. I just love the Quokka sets. These are the color papers that I'm going to be using for this Valentine's Day card. And one of the pieces of paper is from the new Spectrum of Love Slimline Paper Pack. It's double sided. One side has the dark with the light hearts and then the opposite is on the back. So I'm moving on to my Misty to help me with my stamping and I'm stamping the Quokka and I decided to put some of the little glasses on this image. I love characters with glasses and these are just perfect. They're round and you can just stamp it directly on your Quokka easily with your stamping tool. Now I'm going to go in with just some simple coloring. I'm starting with the lightest shade and I'm just quickly going over all the areas of the Quokka. This Quokka doesn't have any clothing, which a lot of the sets that I usually have been using have sweaters and accessories, but this one we're just coloring the whole thing. So we're using some Copic markers again, starting with the lightest and then we're going to build up to the darkest color and then we'll blend. And I'm just quickly adding another shade of brown and I'm kind of making brush strokes to give that fuzzy look. And this is how it looks when it was all blended in. It's just layers and layers and you just blend as you go. I added some white gel pen to that center dot by his eye, cleaned up some of his the white in his eye, and then added some little details on the cheeks, nose, and on the body. I love the little details with the white gel to just highlight. I also used it along the glasses. After I was done coloring this cute little Quokka image, it was time to do my die cutting. I started with the stitched hearts cover plate. This die is so awesome. It gives so much detail to the background. I think this may be my favorite item from the new release. Next, I'm going in with this fun scalloped heart, and I'm using white for the scalloped heart. I think that the white would be nice to kind of separate all of the pink shades that I'm using, and it's just a nice bright pop of, of white to let the colors kind of stand out. Next, I'm going in with the bottom layer of my Love You Sentiment, and then I'll go in with the top Love You words. And for this, I did use a thicker cardstock. Since I wanted to use this fun heart paper, I went in with that smaller stitched heart die and then I cut out a heart for the center of that scalloped area. Next, I'm making a simple A2 size card base. I folded a standard sheet of cardstock in half and then I'm just going over to my trimmer and cutting it down at four and a quarter. I did use my cat scrappiness bone folder to crease it and it works awesome with that flat tip edge. I'm using some glue runner to attach my layers and it's really easy to do for this card since the base or that back layer is the same size as my card base. So I didn't have to line it up or worry about my layers not being straight. Next, I went in with that scalloped heart and I wanted to make sure I tried to get it as perfectly as I could in the center of the design. I layered it with that pretty heart paper and this two-tone, these two shades of pink with the hearts floating around is also just so pretty and perfect for Valentine's Day. 
To glue on the letters for the Love You, I'm just using some liquid adhesive. I thought it was easier to get in those little lines. You could also use some double stick adhesive while you're die cutting to make it like a sticker, which I do, um, I do that often, but this time I'm just using liquid glue. You just have to hold it down for a few seconds just to make sure when it starts to dry, it's not popping up anywhere, but it's really easy and it does dry quickly. So I'm going in and then I have the love already secured and now I'm just adding the U. It fits perfectly on this um, shadow layer and I love this deep pink color with the glitter in the background. To have it stand up a little bit, I'm using some foam tape, just a single layer of foam tape, and I'm adhering it right to that center of the card. This makes it stand out a little bit. You have all of these different layers, but you can see the back cover plate, and you can see the stitched, the stitch design of the hearts and that pretty heart paper. So nothing's covering anything up, and I love that. Now for a border for my little quokka to stand on. I used the Stitch Slimline Hill dies, and then I just trimmed it down to size. You can use your Slimline dies on any project. You just have to trim it down to make it fit a standard card. So I went in with my same glue runner, and I'm just going to attach it to the bottom of my card. I also love this pink and this kind of like a lime green color combination. It's so pretty. And then I just have to attach my little quokka on top of the hill, and he looks so sweet next to the little layered heart. For some embellishment along the background, I went in with some of this pretty pearl mix in the color Sparkling Snow. This color is beautiful. It has a really pretty white color, but when the light hits it, it does shine when pick up little colors, like a pink tone or a blue tone. You know, it has kind of like that, that pearl look to it, and it also goes great with all the pinks. I wanted to use all the sizes included in this pearl mix, so I have large ones, some mediums, and I have a couple little ones. I like how it looks with the three different sizes. And it's really easy to adhere this just with some liquid glue, and I'm using my little picker tool just to easily place them where I want them. I thought the quokka needed something, so I used another die to just cut out some of the little hearts, and then I went in with the quokka stamp and stamped it onto the heart so I could get the hands. I thought it would look great if I cut around the little hands or the little paws and put the heart down so it looks like he's holding the heart. And lastly, I added a little tiny heart that says love, and this is from the XOXO Sprinkles. I hope you enjoyed the project and are inspired to create a quokka themed Valentine's Day card. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.